Ontario's deficit is down. Good evening now from Queen's Park, where the Ford government released its fall economic statement. And it seems it's trying to reverse some of the cuts made in its much maligned budget and make up with voters. Of course, that budget led to the fall in the polls. Well, now it's trying to make up with voters by investing more in health and education. Why? Well, the government says it's been listening. Our government is beating its deficit projection by $1.3 billion for this year. After the Ford government's first budget in April, Vic Fideli was shuffled out as finance minister weeks later, following a public backlash as cut after cut emerged. Now there is a new finance minister and a new tone in the mini-budget. There are no cuts. Instead, there's an extra $1.3 billion going to health, education and social programs. The government has been widely criticized for not keeping up with inflation or making cuts in those key areas. Minister, is this is an acknowledgement that the budget was deeply flawed? It seems like you're reversing some cuts and putting money back into critical areas like health and education. You know, we listened to Ontarians. Uh, we listened to what they thought was working well in the plan that we had, and we listened as well to the concerns that they had. The opposition, though, is calling the new money a drop in the bucket. Doug Ford is plowing ahead. What we saw in this fall economic statement is that Doug Ford's cruel and callous cuts are here to stay. In fact, there isn't $1.3 billion in extra uh, funding. In fact, all it is is the backtracking uh, and softening of the cuts that were announced in the budget. Other highlights in today's economic statement, the deficit is now $9 billion, down from $10.3 billion that was projected in the April budget, but still significantly higher than the $7.4 billion revealed in public accounts. Is that a real number or not? Because this government has a history of inflating budget deficits. It's good that they're putting that money in. It's not something new. It just looks new. The Ford government is still planning to balance the budget by 2023-24. It's also reducing the small business corporate income tax rate to 3.2% from 3.5% starting in 2020.